have no choice. I have to go through that fog. All right, I need to suck up some healing spores to smurf a way through. is rolling out for me like a red carpet. Okay, I've healed the first heart. There must be another one. It seems that Gargamel hasn't found the vile trap. That's great news. Smurfette? It's us. Is everything all right? Yes, I'm fine. Stop smurfing me every five minutes. I think I found Papa Smurf. He's caught inside a vile trap. That's wonderful, Smurfette. You're so awesome. Yeah! You smurf so much better than us! Can I speak to Smurfette too? Okay, I'm hanging up. I have to go free Papa Smurf.
difference. Is he ever gonna go home? Ah, oh, what rotten luck. This fog is a real nuisance. Even if a biotrap has caught something, I wouldn't be able to see it. Hmm, so that one hasn't smirked anything either? That's convenient. This is my chance to go open that vile trap. Wow, that looks like the fireworks we smurf in the village every year. Above. I fell flat on my face. A tee hee hee serves him right. <laughs> And there, the last heart has been healed. Papa Smurf! Can you hear me? Is that you, Smurfette? 
Were you the one who got the vile trap to free me? Yes, I'm coming, Papa Smurf. Stay where you are. I won't move a muscle. By the way, I have some good news, Smurfette. I managed to collect the Hellebore's perfume before I got Smurfed. Smurftastic! Then we can go back to the village right away. Quickly, we can't hang around here. Gargamel is nearby. Did I just hear someone cry out? Can you hear me? Are you okay? I'm all right. But that was some drop. I sure picked the right time to fall. The Smurfizer doesn't seem in such good shape, though. The tank came off, and I can't see it anywhere. Holy Smurf! It must have been carried away by the river. Hurry! You have to get it back! Without that special flower, we won't be able to heal the contamination. Yes, I know. I'm on it. In the meantime, you should head back to the village, Papa Smurf. The Smurfs are a little jittery. They need you there with them. Are you sure? I can wait for you here, you know. No! The village needs you more than I do, Papa Smurf. Besides, Gargamel might still be lurking around. It isn't safe. I would rather stay, but so be it. Take care of yourself. I've handled things perfectly so far. I'm sure I'll be fine. Unfortunately, no tank means no Smurfy talky. This time, I'm on my own for real. Oh, come on, Smurfette. Now's not the time to give up. <sighs> Breathe. to the water with all these obstacles. all those noises oh, it sounds like insects or maybe the vile critters come on I have to control my fear I can't let my imagination get the best of me oh no 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 vile critters in sight and I don't have the smurfizer it's now or never to try Hefty's famous technique run fast <laughs>
those strange noises again. I'm feeling a little worried. I'll try to avoid getting too close to that contamination. Smurfette, just a few more feet. The Smurfizer's tank can't have disappeared. It must be around here somewhere. to get back to the village and see my friends. Okay, I'd better not hang around. There's something smurfy about this place. With the help of Smurfette and her immense courage, our two heroes safely return to the village. Oh, I was certain that she would succeed. She is truly remarkable. Ah. Anyway, where was I? Once Papa Smurf got back, he set things in motion. He took out his cauldron to brew up the potion. The perfume of hellebores he proceeded to add to the ingredients that they already had. Now, his work is complete. Papa Smurf is content. The antidote was smurfed after several attempts. But it's not over yet. To defeat Gargamel, they must head to his home to break the vile leaf spell. The plant spits out its spawn from the hovel on top. There's a long road ahead to bring it to a stop. But... Who is the right Smurf to be sent on this quest? Oh, not lazy, not clumsy. They aren't up to the test. It is indeed hefty, for who else could it be? Ready to battle and make history!
great. I have everything. I can go save my friends from Gargamel. But first, I should go see Papa Smurf and Handy. Hey, how's it going? Using the three ingredients we've found, I've concocted a super antidote. And I filled the Smurfizer with it. Perfect! Now I'm ready to face the Vile Leaf. Just one thing, the Smurfizer is now very powerful, so don't be surprised. I know all about power. Don't you worry, Handy. You have to sneak into Gargamel's hovel and free the Smurfs that he has taken prisoner. Then, you must put an end to the vile leaf using the super antidote. The antidote is powerful, but the vile leaf is too. Don't forget that. Don't worry, Papa Smurf. I'm smurfed up and ready to go. Now, off to Gargamel's hovel. It can be dangerous with both him and the vile leaf there. I need to be very careful. And...
Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Yes. This is Papa Smurf. Have you arrived at Gargamel's house? Yes, but it's pitch black out here. I can barely smurf a thing. That might help you get inside unnoticed. I know stealth is not your forte, Hefty, but try to be discreet for once. Don't sweat it, Papa Smurf. I'll be as quiet as a bzzz fly. Holy dumbbells, it's Gargamel. Let's hope he doesn't see me. What's he up to this time? Now, a little nightshade and a smidge of ricin. That should make the vile leaf grow. And not forgetting the mandrake. <laughs> Azrael, I can't find the hellebores I picked from the swamp. I hope you didn't gobble them up when I wasn't looking, you blasted flea bag. Hellebores? From the swamp? Smurfette did say he was gathering something while he was there. Yeah. I'll break down that structure in the blink of an eye, or my name isn't Hefty. Huh? What was that noise? Was that you, Azrael? Oh, Smurf, he must have heard me. It's a good thing I'm well hidden. What have you broken this time, you numbskull? Oh, I recognize that noise. It must be another one of those cursed rats. <laughs> 